I've got this other really cool thing. The giant eye mask for a very big head. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening, Free Gang? We are coming to you live. Not live. From Heathrow Airport. Yes, we are off on an adventure. Is everyone excited? Yeah, and Jojo doesn't know where we're going, but he is super excited. Yes, I'm so excited right now. And we, <laughs> keep, we keep nearly accidentally telling him where we're going. And he's like, no, no, don't tell me, don't tell me. When we checked in, we were like, uh, Jojo, just stand a bit away so you can't hear that person. Yeah. So we've had a trip planned for quite a few weeks and he doesn't know what it is. And some of you free gang have been guessing as well. So this is your last chance to guess before we reveal. Comment below right now. Where do you think we'll be going? And the good thing is, for once in a long time now, we've actually got to the airport with a lot of time to spare. Well, enough time to yeah. do the things we want to do. Normally, if we get there and we're like, hello, bye, and then we're on the plane. But yeah. well, we've got a good hour and a half or so until we have to get on our plane. So we're going to do the two main things you do at an airport. Eat and shop. Yay. Yeah. Food and shopping. Let's go and have some fun. Jojo, how was your security experience today? Jojo, Jojo. So, we've got a really, really special shop to show you. The Harry Potter shop. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, no muggles allowed. Oi. <laughs> oh, Jojo, it's the quaffle. Did I get it right? That's the snitch. Oh, no, it's the snitch. I, I didn't get it right. Is even how important you to turn you off? Dobby is magic Yoda. <laughs> He's trying not to laugh. Who's that? Hedwig. Hedwig. Oh. This is a cool shop. They've got stuff all the different houses here. Which house are you free, gang? We always ask, but we always we're, ask. we're asking again. In case there's any new free gang there that haven't yet put their bit in. Gryffindor! <laughs> <laughs> Up you get. What I just found. What did you find? I found the Ministry of Magic Pine Box. <gasps> it's the way to the Ministry. Go in, go to the Ministry. Oh, you're going to do here. a spell, Jojo. Spell it all You know what these are? Every flavour beans. They're every flavour beans. Bertie Potts every flavour bean. And they're vegan. Let's buy them. <laughs> That's that sort of solid. He's found something he wants to buy. What you got there? Fantastic Beast book. Fantastic Beasts. Wow. Where to find them? You're going to buy that with some of your spending money then? Yeah. It's not for me. That's what made me how greedy we're sharing this. It's just good to have a few extra backup things on the plane. Jojo, we're going to the gates now. And when we get to the gate, we're going to tell you where we're going. Jojo, look at that woman talking over there. Yeah. Next available train from either platform. Oh, that's freaky. The first stop will not be in the train belts. And the second stop will They're replacing us. What's weird is she's like on either wearing heels or if she's in ballerina shoes on TikTok. From B or C she's getting a car for Bob, 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 they're replacing us. It's like a Doctor Who episode. Shut up. It's like a Doctor Who episode. And the second stop will be for all she seagulls. She used to work You can't interrupt her. I should get some tips off if of her. She's always interrupting me. How do they do that? Ah, the train. Okay, we're at the gate now, so we're going to tell you where we're going. Yeah. All right. So you've had a clue on your onesie all along. Go to America. Yes. And so the place in America is we're going to somewhere called 
Hollywood, which is in LA. I know that doesn't mean anything to you right now, but think of someone special. Sienna? Yeah, so that's where Sienna's living at the moment. <laughs> so when we get there, you might get to see Sienna at some point, okay? But there's lots of other really fun stuff there. As Hollywood well. is where they make all of the big films around the world, American films. So we might see some famous people. Yeah, so are you excited? Yes! Thank you. You ready to go on the plane now? Yes! Because I think they just called my name. <laughs> well, well, I'm not ready. There's a big queue of people over well, there. Well, they just called out. Let's run and dance around the Christmas tree. Come on. Come on, try to look at the What are you doing over there? We've got this big open space to jump around. Jojo, you ready to get on the plane? Yeah, let's go. You excited to be going to America? Yes! Wearing the onesie and everything. You didn't even know, did you? <laughs> are you gonna think every time we go somewhere and we surprise you, you're gonna base it on the clothes that you're dressed? Yeah. What if you're wearing your Harry Potter onesie? Does that mean we're gonna fly to Hogwarts? Yeah, exactly. We're gonna fly to Watermelon Land from wearing my watermelon one. What if, what if you're wearing the Minion one? Where are we gonna go? Um, we're going to go to Gru's Lab. Gru's Lab. Jojo's been giving a little bag. It's a little activity oh. book. Guys, I think we're taking off. Yes, we're on the way to Los Angeles. We are so excited. We've never been here before. We've always wanted to go to LA, haven't we? Yeah, and we're staying in West Hollywood. Yeah, and we've had contact with so many people who follow the channel out there and different friends who live out there as well. And other people we know that have gone and visited who have told us about how good it is. So we're so excited. Yeah, and we're going to do a podcast as well while we're out there um, and do loads of really loads of other really cool stuff so we're really excited and what? Jojo will get to see Sienna at some point. Yes, <laughs> we have made arrangements. We haven't told him when he's going to see her yeah. but he is going to see her so he's really excited. He's actually on cloud nine right now, literally. No, we're above cloud nine. We just realised as well this is the first time for quite a while, first time this year, we've been away, just the three of us. But other times we've been meeting up with friends or family which has been great and everything but yeah it's been a uh, it's been a bit different. I'm, I'm, I'm expecting to meet up with someone at some we, point. We are still meeting up with, with some different friends though. So. Oh, we are, that's true. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I feel normal. But no, we normally go away with people. Yeah, we as groups, well. well, group outings yeah. or stay with someone. Yeah, I feel really lucky as well on this flight because we've got really good seats. We've got the back. Yeah. So, like, cause sometimes we can be annoying, I, th I think. We're a bit loud. Speak for yourself. So, at least we've got no one there and we can put our seats back and not have to worry. And, um, oh, can I show them my um, flight essentials? My long haul flight essentials. Go on then. What so have you got? First essential is a pillow. Walking around hugging a pillow. I feel day. like a right idiot walking around an airport with one of these. But you don't, you love it. It's, no, but it really does make a difference yeah. on, on long flights. She doesn't sleep easy on flights. Nice, <laughs> nice warm socks. Nice warm socks. It's true. Like, my feet get so cold, so I have to get these like thermal socks to wear on the plane. I've got neck rest somewhere, but I can't find it. Oh. It's like this, but black. Yeah, I've got a black one. This is Jojo's one, and I've got a black one. Got your blanket as well. Blanket. Oh yeah, I've got this other really cool thing, which is this, which basically... It's a giant eye mask for a very big head. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I never looked at that and realised that before. It does look like a big eye mask. <laughs> no, this is the eye mask. Oh yeah, another essential. This, you basically hang this bit over your tray table when your tray table is tucked in and then you put your feet on that bit. Yeah, so it's like a little so, footrest isn't yeah, it? Yeah, sometimes you want to bring your feet up like that but you just, it just rests your feet like that. So yeah, another essential. Oh, and noise cancelling headphones. They don't cancel me out though. They do. No, they don't. You just responded to me. <laughs> <laughs> they 
do a bit, they do a bit. Not enough, I'll just get louder. No, they're, these are really good, they're really good. They do give you headphones, but they're not as good as my ones. Well, we should be getting food served to us in a minute, that's another essential. So you've got some work to do, haven't you, Bob? Yeah, I've got my next edit to go on. Yeah, and we just put a video out. The, luckily, the plane was delayed uh, by about 20 minutes, so it just gave us enough time to do a pinned comment and heart some of your comments. And yeah, speaking of that, thank you so much for all the wonderful support that you guys always give us. Such nice comments, and, you know overwhelming. What? Yeah, it keeps us going, it keeps us keep doing all the things that we do and keep inspiring people and all that stuff. But yeah, thank you so much. It's just we feel really blessed to have all those lovely comments and... Yeah, you're good people, free gang. What's going on? Last time we flew to America, Jojo had a Thai vegan curry and he's been going on about it ever since and I think we've got the same one. Because we love plain food, don't we? Plain food? Oh yeah. Not everybody does. Comment below, do you like plain food? Are you a plain food person? Hardly anyone likes plain food. Look, oh. Jojo. Oh, it's, just, oh, it's what you had last time. Oh, oh he, he, he. journey wasn't it yeah, about 11 hours 11 hours you slept for ages didn't you yeah are you excited should we ask if you can see the captain oh yeah that'd be awesome beautiful business for you here hey hello do you want to sit in the seat come on go and have a little yeah. sit down <laughs> no. oh. sorry we turned all the screens down a bit there oh. yeah it's all been switched off Oh my goodness. Thanks for getting us here. Hello. Okay. Th yeah, thank you for getting us here. Wow. It's okay. What so, do you yeah, think? you just fly the joystick over there, it's kind of up, down, left, right. Faster, slower. It's absolutely wow. mind boggling how you must control this. <laughs> do you got a photograph here? Yeah, that would be nice. Want to put the hat on? Thank you. Alright. Have a good time. Thank you. Bye. Be a little fella. Take that with you. There you go. Oh, <laughs> what do you say? Yeah, welcome. Cheerio. Thanks, mate. See you later. Thank you. See you later. Bye. You got a present there, Jojo. What did you get? A little bag from the first class cabin that is they, that's where they gave you that from how lucky are you we're here we are here in los angeles california us of a we're so happy to be here yes we the camera is gonna fall the camera's so happy it's gonna do a stage dive <laughs> big love to all our american free gang yeah comment below as well if you are from the us or if you're specifically from california or la yeah just say if you're from anywhere Yes, let us know if you're from anywhere. <laughs> Wherever you're from, let us know. So yeah, we we had such a lovely flight, didn't we? Yeah, very long flight, 11 it, hours. 11 and something. And then, oh my goodness, there was this poor woman who lost her passport. We were the, like the last people to get on the plane and she was stood there and she somehow, from security and all that, in between getting on the plane, she'd lost her passport so she couldn't go on the plane. They had to get all her luggage off and everything. Mm. I felt so bad for her. Yeah. On a brighter note, should we tell them about the incident? You have to remind me now, I don't even know. What happened with your bottom in that lady's face? Oh my goodness. Oh, the incident, that was like that was that was like 15 hours ago or whatever. How do these things happen to you though? We've got on the plane and he's sorting everything out, bending over and stretching up, bending over, and then all of a sudden he's turned around to me and he's gone, that woman just punched me in the bum. I just out of nowhere just felt Mm, like that not like, in an aggressive way but the fact that it was just like a smack on the bottom yeah and i was like how dare she? and then i was getting angry and then the more angry i got he got angrier i, I was like, the shock i just like the, that someone had the audacity to do that and I, bob never gets you never get angry like, yeah. he never gets angry i thought it was anything. unprovoked as well i didn't yeah. have any awareness of like i thought like, yeah. there's no way i've had my bum in her face i kept saying to him 
you've got to say something to her. You've got to say something. Because I was right by the window, so I wouldn't have been able to say anything anyway. So I was like, you have to say. I took the calm approach. And went, Did my bum end up in your face? So she goes, yes, it was quite right in there. No, I gave her a smack out of the way. And she was so jolly about oh, it and silly yes. and everything. And then I just knew there was no negativity or regression. It was just literally, get out of my face. Yeah. And I yeah. and then I kind of joked about it as well. I said, that's not the way you want to start your flight, is it with someone's bum in your face? She was like, no, not really. It was funny. Forgot about that. I know. <laughs> you but said it's funny how like, like it went from anger to like happiness. Yes, yeah, so that happened. <laughs> yes. And I guess it taught us a lesson not to immediately get cross about things. Yeah. Never judge. It might be an instinctive reaction just to be like. I think I'd be cross at first. Get it out of my face. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, enough about that. We now got our hire car. Lovely little car, and we are going to be driving to an apartment that we've got <sighs> in LA. It's like four in the morning to us, is it yeah, like? Yeah, five in the morning now. Yeah, it's like five in the morning. Luckily, Jojo's like slept most of the flight, so he's fine. We're tired, but yeah, he's fine. We haven't slept. Yeah, we never. We don't have caffeine, and we just we chose to have a caffeinated drink. Little boost. When we were close to landing, so we're both wide awake uh, as well. Yeah. As long as Jojo's all right, that's all that that's all I care about. Anyway. Yeah. Another really cool thing happened. Jojo got to go into the cockpit and meet the the pilots, didn't you? Yeah. That was yeah, and you so sat in their cool. seats, you saw all of their equipment. And then they gave him this bag for, that's from first class, like business class bag, and it's got loads of cute things in there and yeah, everything. Yeah, toiletries and overnight yeah. stuff. Yeah. Very, very lucky, aren't you, Jojo? Yeah. yeah, we've had a lovely flight, and now we're really excited to go to our apartment. So we will see you at our apartment, Free Gang. Come with us. Yay. We made it. Yay, we're here. This is a nice room. It's a Oh, it's a nice little kitchen. Oh, Jojo's got a big bed. Not that he cares right now. He's a tired boy. Should we pop him on there then? There we go. He's a sleepy one. This is a nice room, Bob. It's what you like to see when you come in. I'm so tired. Me too. I do want to have a quick look around here though. Yeah, it's a really nice kitchen. Is it dope though? Hello. It is. It's a dope kitchen. It's all I care about. So that is it for another video guys. Thank you so much for watching and we really appreciate you guys following us whenever we travel the world and, and we're so excited to show you all the things we get up into LA and what other plans we've got coming up as well. Before we go, I'm just gonna give a shout out to one of you lovely free gang who has requested them. So today's shout out comes from Kumiko Lee. You all do some pretty amazing things. The good energy and thoughtfulness you put into this world comes so naturally. Oh, that's really nice. You do so much good and are very humble. I'm glad you can show us this part of your life through YouTube. And you do it in a way that doesn't feel intrusive or pushy, if you know what I mean. Oh, thank you. Just enough to get people thinking while enjoying your fun, loving family at the same time. Just to say thank you. Your videos always make me smile, but today I really needed it. Oh, that's good to hear. P.S. I'd love a shout out for my son, Jeremy. Kumiko, thank you so much for your lovely message and lovely comment. Of course, shout out to you and Jeremy. I hope you guys are doing well. And if any of you guys ever want a shout out, leave it in the comments below and we'll do one in an upcoming video. And if any of you guys are new to this channel and you like seeing where we go and how someone ends up punching me in the bottom on a plane, then we'd love it if you subscribe to our channel. If you're already subscribed, hit that notification bell so you're kept up to date and when we do upload videos. And we will see you guys in the next video in LA. Peace Sweet. out. <laughs>